Oh, no, you can't. You can't go through there. She's doing lady-type things not fit for a man's eyes. OK, I'm not just any man. Uh, no, seriously, just... Can you just sit there, have a pint, and then wait till we get the all clear? I live with a violet. There's no mysteries about that. Oh, last time I put her on sentry duty. I know. Who can he trust these days, eh? Well, what do you think? Very nice. You know, I now know what you and Sunita talk about when you get together for your little powwows. Uh, excuse me, no consultation involved. This is all my own work, thank you very much. No, it's not clothes you talk about, it's business. My business. That's why Dev just sat me. Thanks for that, Shell. Here's to you. Charlie, I'd never say a word to Sunita. I don't believe you. I'd never talk about your business. Oh, come on, you spent half your lives in each other's pockets. You saying there's no way you could let something slip? Yeah, that's what I am saying. You've not been accusing Sunita, have you? <laughs> Don't worry about me. Thousands down the swanee. Devil set to badmouth me out of business. Yeah, but that's nothing to do with me or Sunita. Charlie, I'd never go behind your back. How can you think I'd do that to you? You didn't have to. He saw the look on your face when he pulled out that invoice. Hey? In the bar. <laughs> you like a rabbit cool on the headlights. Oh, come on. That's nothing to do with the look on my face. It was there in black and white. Charlie, you've been caught and you're looking for someone to blame. Well, I swear to you that it's not me. Oh, you reckon? But I did warn you. Maybe that's how you do your business. But I did say to you, you've got to be careful because they are our friends. So you were right all along. So you don't want what I buster got to buy for you. Your nights on the town. Your fancy dresses. And these. I'm so sorry I inflicted these on you. 